everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Renee, and today I'm really excited to share with you something that I and a couple really techie friends of mine have put together to help you track your GoGo -Go Kid pay. One of the biggest cons with GoGo -Go Kid is that there's no way to track your pay as you go, and um, any spreadsheet or coming up with it can be really time consuming and tricky. Um, I feel like I've solved that problem really well. I'm very excited to show you the version of the spreadsheet that I use. I'll show you exactly how I use it and all the, um, the, the bells and whistles of it. And I'll be sharing that with you for free as a link to a Google Sheets document template that you will be welcome to keep forever and ever and ever to track your own pay. After that, I will also be posting another video shortly after that has a tutorial telling you how to um, set up your own based on your own pay scale and the hours that you teach. So I'll make sure that um, you can set all that up as well. So it's going to be great. Let's get going. First of all, the features. So here we go. Okay, this is the spreadsheet. I'm calling it the GoGo Kid Payment Tracker 2.0. This is what you have first. This is your date column. There's 31 available for every day of the month. Then what you're going to do is you're going to select your class finish type. So let's say tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. I have a class. And that class is a trial class. And it makes. Awesome. I'm going to select that trial class and... It will automatically... Sorry, I didn't have it pulled all the way down here. It's going to automatically put it in for $9. Let's say that it's a trial class no-show. Just going to click that it was a student no-show. It's automatically going to come in there for $5.40, which is my current 60% rate. I also have one for um, teacher no-show. I hope you never get one, but if you do, um, that will be zero pay. You can also use that teacher no-show button anytime you want to track a zero pay class. Um, I also have a system error, which will give you the same pay for everything, as well as the 24-hour cancellation for core classes, core class student no-show, and the 24-hour cancellation for trial class, and the student IT for trial class. I didn't put a student IT for core class because the pay, pay stays the same, and I didn't feel like there was a reason to track that. So if I say I have a core class, then I had a trial class, 24-hour cancellation, and then I had a trial class at 7.30 a.m., this is going to be my pay for the day right here. 2340. What it's also going to do, and one of the reasons I was really, really, really excited about doing this, is it's going to tell me how many classes I've got um, at that time slot, as well as the total number of trial class student no-shows or 24-hour cancellations. Um, I didn't include the IT issues in here because they're kind of rare for student IT. I want to know if I have certain slots that are more no-shows than normal, because if I do, I might be able to give those to another company. So, what I did is I took the total number, total SCs, or total student cancellations for that day, which is 7, and it will automatically configure a percentage for you. So, 41% of my 6.30 a.m. classes are not showing, as opposed to 53% of my 7s. But then, the later in the morning, 7.38, I get a little bit better. My nighttime are doing very well. For me, as well as my 10 o'clock, for me, anything that's at least a third making it is good. So I have green for a third of the classes being no-show. Anything more than a third is red. And this is going to add up all of your pay throughout the day. And this is the total amount that should be on your paycheck with a very simple drop-down menu. Cool, right? I think so. Also, this will give you the place where you put in the value for your classes. And I will show you how to change that um, in the your version. This is my personalized version. Yours will look much like it, but you'll have access to columns with all of the hours. So, hello, I'm back. Okay, you'll have access for each column that's going to have all of the various different hours on it um, so that you can customize what hours you work as well as customize to your pay or where your credit score is just by changing a couple buttons. So, as simple as that seems, it was actually a whole lot of work to figure out how to do, but I am happy to give it away for free to my fellow teachers if this will help you as much as it has helped me really keep track of what I'm making this is a business, I need to know what I'm making, and I need to make sure that GoGo Kid has everything tracked right. So just simply hit the drop down menu, select your finish type, you're done for the day. Everything else will be tracked for you in the spreadsheet. The link to the spreadsheet is below, and then make sure you check out the next video. Um, that's going to be the tutorial of how to set up your spreadsheet for you as soon as you get it. So, let's go! Okay, bye everybody! See you next time!